at the time that I walked out of the, the door, I couldn't see the damage because it was raining. So it wasn't showing up. Later that afternoon, when it stopped raining and it dried up, immediately I saw the damage to my vehicle on the same side that she was at. I called the police and made a police report. So on his dash cam video, that even the officer said that it was done deliberately. He took pictures. I even showed him videotapes, okay? I showed him all the evidence that I had. I even gave him all the police reports that I had. He said that he was going to investigate it and that he was going to make contact with that unit. Now, of course, that unit fled the scene. They miraculously, every time that the police were called, they A, did not open the door, or B, happened to leave before the police could address them with the issue. I then went to the state's attorney's office to file a complaint because Naperville seemed to be hiding everything. They did nothing to protect my rights and everything that they kept saying, they said it was up to the property managers. And they said at this point, the property managers could have gave them a five day notice and terminated their lease. They had all the evidence that they needed to terminate their lease immediately. I went back to the property managers and instead of them making those two units evacuate the property, they told me, well, since you felt unsafe, you leave. So they wanted me to incur the cost of moving and B, I had already paid a full year in advance, okay? I had only been there, this is only month four. So you have my money all the way up until December and here it is in April and you're telling me I can leave when I did nothing wrong. I did everything they told me to do. The property manager told me that if I called the police and got the event number, that would be enough evidence to evict them. Well, he told me, well, they don't want to move and you don't want to move. So my hands are tied. What am I supposed to do? Well, you don't give them an option if they're being a nuisance and doing hate crimes. That is a hate crime. Of course, when the police address them, they say, not us. We didn't do it. We have no reason to do it. So here, I had to jump up find a place to live. I had to have my family members come on the days that I did stay there with me for protection because they had family members that I didn't know or wasn't aware of to show up, vandalize my property. They're calling me racial names and I'm supposed to sit under that stress and live. The location in Naperville was uh, um, under contract to, to have a new buyer. So the, 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 real estate agent she came by and I explained to her why I was moving she she tried to convince me to stay and saying that she'll make sure that the tenants get evicted as the new um, owners took place I told her well I don't know if I could stay that long I said I'm already not living here I hadn't been living there since early end of February March okay because things were getting so hostile and I wasn't safe here these people are counting my locks. Everything that I did, they, they were taunting me, okay? Physically, verbally, harassing me. Here, the police department won't do anything about it. The state's attorney hands are tied into the police file the correct paperwork. Naperville police told me that they couldn't file charges against them, even though I even caught them in the act once because I didn't, they didn't have probable cause. Last time I checked, you don't need probable cause for a hate crime. If you are damaging someone's property and you're caught damaging someone's property, that is a crime. Calling me all derogatory racial names is a hate crime. What do you mean? probable cause so they did not charge them even though i showed them an abundance abundance of evidence they let them free so my question is to burden warner how do you feel comfortable or how do you justify 
letting those tenants stay, yet you ask me to move. My tenant history is clear. It's obvious that they were nuisance. Where's my money? Where's my justice? Where's my peace? Oh, I guess that didn't matter. It was okay that I was racially taunted on your property. Bernie Warner, I'm going to make sure that everyone knows how you handled this situation. Naperville Police Department, I want everyone to know that you covered up legal information. You let these individuals get away with hate crimes just to say that downtown Naperville is safe. Well, it is not safe. And I have proof that it's not safe. How do you justify letting this type of behavior go on on your property? I signed a lease that said if you didn't behave under certain guidelines that you would be evicted. So why is it they weren't evicted? Yet you told the state's attorney's office that those tenants moved. They're not, they're not gone. They currently are still there. They're living happily, and yet I incur thousands of dollars in fees and moving expenses, not to mention the pain and the emotional wreckage that I'm going through. Do you know how it feels to go home and not be safe? Or someone calling you derogatory names? Do you know how that feels? Do you know how it feels to get your roof stumped in and you are called every type of N-word in the book? Every black bitch in the book? Do you know how that feels? I bet you don't, but I bet you don't care because you were just about your money. And to the agent from Bird and Warner who pretended as if you were going to help me, you just didn't want me to interrupt your sale. You got all my information and pretended like you were going to help me. When in all, you just didn't want me to say anything to ruin your sale of the property. I hope you sleep well at night. I hope you sleep very well. To the property manager, Mr. Kendrick. Yeah, I'm gonna put your name out there, Brett Kendrick. How can you teach your children to be kind to someone else, yet you let me live under those circumstances? You had every reason and every right to evict them, and you didn't. You did nothing to help me nothing naperville police department to serve and protect to serve and protect who because you didn't protect me you didn't protect my rights where's my justice how was that fair how do you sleep at night i have a degree in criminal justice that's not the meaning of probable cause How about you looking at the footage? I have video cameras of your police officers saying that this is a, a, a racial crime, yet you didn't file those charges. So all the officers who left all that information off, that is a legal binding document. The purpose of these videos are to help bring awareness to individuals, companies, police departments, neighborhoods, whomever, that are covering up racism and hate crimes. This is wrong. Burden Warner, is this how you see fit to treat someone who I followed all your rules and regulations? I paid my money up front, yet I was not safe in my own home. My tenant rights were violated. My civil rights were violated my human rights, my dignity, my safety. But you didn't care, did you? To Naperville Police Department, thank you for not serving and protecting me because you didn't, you didn't protect me. All you guys did was throw one thing to the other. Tell the property manager, oh, property manager, oh, tell the police department. 
All you did was kick me back and forth, back and forth. Burden Warner and Naperville Police Department. No one actually stepped in to help me. All the money, the fees, the mental anguish that I suffered. No one seems to care what happened to me. Maybe you all didn't care, but I have family members that do care. This is wrong on so many levels. You had every right to put those tenants out, yet you did nothing. You told me to leave. That is not right. Downtown Naperville, Naperville, Illinois. Is this what you do? You cover up the actual events that take place like this? You train your officers to just spin me around in a circle and hope that I would give up. No, I'm going to expose you all. This is not right. And hopefully that this will not keep happening to people. To those individuals, you can laugh. You didn't get away. There's so much information that I wanted to share with you guys, but I am on limited time. But I just wanted to give you a brief view of some of the things that are happening right up under our noses. They didn't care. I was the only black tenant. It was nothing to them. I hope that this exposed you. I hope that this teaches individuals that are doing this to others. This is not right. Stop it. It's not right. Karma's out there. 